Hello. So I got a call from Julie asking for help on the video. I said, okay, so let's give her a call. Hello, Julie. Hey. So Easy. why don't you introduce yourself to the people who don't know you? Hi, I'm a mom. I'm in advertising for the past um, 18 years. Also a daughter. I'm assistant dive instructor. Some of y'all will know that that's my hobbies. Besides work, diving is what I do for most of my time. In diving, a few things I learned, a few lessons. In diving, it teaches you to care for your body because if you don't, people will die. And why I say so? Because you need to look out for everyone underwater because none of them can speak with a regulator inside the mouth. So what you need to look out is the people beside you, in front of you, and around you. That's what we call that care for your body, regardless who you are. And it's the same thing with advertising. We just need to guide juniors with real works and we need to help each other with works. One thing I always tell the juniors or the fresh grad that, um, well, advertising might look um, happening, you know, like it's like a, you know, Hollywood kind of lifestyle, you know, yeah, it's that glamorous, but we are not living in a bit of roses. Well, there's a um, um, side to that, the ugly, dark side, where we need to dedicate ourselves into it. At the same time, we need to know how to draw a line in everything. And moreover, right now we are in MCO. We need to be able to teach ourselves to juggle between work-life balance. Sad, but the truth is <laughs> we work 24-7. And how do we strike a balance? In diving, you can't dive for two hours. That's actually very dangerous. We need to have a cut-off time because um, the oxygen that you're using underwater, it can become poison if we never take care of our time. So I call that a time management underwater. So as a guide, we need to make sure that, you know, all of our students or the people, we take them down for diving. We need to keep on reminding them to check their depth, to check their dive time. Because if not, that would be dangerous as well. I always believe in no one's born to walk immediately. We need to learn from somewhere. I always believe that because uh, when I first started in advertising, I'm very clueless. clueless. I'm clueless. So with the guidance from my mentor, of my bosses, my colleagues, you know, with all the help, I tell myself I just need to learn and grow and don't repeat the same mistakes again. If you do not know, you ask. If you're unsure, you ask. That's about it. That's one advice I can, you know, like share. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I made a mistake in a print ad where last time we were using CMYK films and it's not as easy right now as to just to resend. I remember it was Subaru client and I did not properly check the FA again, proofread and check it again and again. I make a mistake at the price. It was supposed to be 700,000, one zero drop off. So the cars went up, you know, they are selling in newspaper for 70,000. So that was my biggest mistake that I've learned and it never repeats until today. So what I do every time when there's FA, I check and check again. I proofread it again. And especially when it comes to pricing and your client's USP, you know, like your product USP and stuff like that. So my boss nearly made me pay for the whole press ad. But thank God I don't have to. But that was the greatest lesson I learned. And I tell myself to not fucking, you know, repeat this stupid mistake again. Check and check and check. At the end of the day, in advertising, it's not as beautiful as outside people paint it. There's pain, there's tears, there's sweat. So make sure you love your job. Make sure you love whatever that you're doing. And then everything will be better. So be nice to each other. Be compassionate. Lah. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs>